what general advice would you give to students wanting to study at university? Um, I would say be prepared for obviously the university work because a lot of students are surprised when, oh, I've got an assignment due. Oh, I've got a presentation to do. It's like, well, yeah, you came to university. It's a, you're there to study. Like, don't forget that you're going to have assignments. You're going to have work to do. That's what you're there for. You're not getting a degree, like, by just attending lectures. So don't, like, come with the mentality that I'm actually going to do some work and I'm actually going to go to the library once in a while or whatever it is your study of, your, your way of studying is. Be prepared to actually do some work because... I really found it baffling when people complained about doing work and I'm like well it's a degree what did you expect like from doing a levels to doing a degree I found it even easier to transition from I found I felt like my degree was a lot easier than the a levels I did um so I would say like just get on with your work don't come and think that it's gonna of course I think first year was definitely a breeze it was easy, lots of free time, like you're chilling with your friends a lot, you're hanging out, like you have an assignment to do here and there. But once, once you get your work out of the way, like you can chill. It's not worth failing because when it comes to graduation and your friends are graduating, you've got to repeat a year. It's not fun. It's not nice. Um, so just kind of put your head down and focus when you have to focus. And you can still enjoy like your four months of summer because uni finishes in like early, like May, June. And then you've got to wait all the way till October to start again. So just put your head down and focus. And I would say, like, explore, try things, like, as much as you might be scared, still try things because it's always nicer to say, I tried it and I didn't like it, then I wish I tried it. So don't be afraid to, like, go to join societies. If you don't like it, it's not like you have to stay. Just go once or twice. If you don't like it, you might be surprised. Say hi to people. Take opportunities that the university offers that not everyone talks about, like DMU Global. Not a lot of people used it because they probably didn't even know about it or it's always expensive, but find out what schemes your university has, opportunities that they have for volunteering. Use your summer holidays to volunteer if you can. I wish I had, and I'd probably be a lot further than where I am now if I had used my summer holidays for like volunteering or getting work experience. Find out if you can do placement. Find out from your lecturers like what kind of stuff you can do to get ahead in your career. Like if you know what career you want to get into, speak to your lecturers, have a meeting with your tutors, ask them like what can I do to prepare for like the working world. If the, if you know like there's a really nice lecturer, a really nice tutor that's willing to sit down with you and just talk to you for like 10, 20 minutes, speak to them because that's what they're there for. Um, don't be afraid to ask them because even now I can still message some of my tutors and ask them for advice and they will reply to my emails because they remember me for meeting up with them back in the day so don't like don't necessarily just don't think that it's all down to you like ask the people that your lecturers are experts in their field most of the time so they know what they're talking about so if you can don't be afraid to ask them like for help and stuff okay what advice would you give to students who are curious about what is going to study at the moment university. Um, students who are curious about studying at um, the month at university. Yeah. Um, what advice you give to them before starting? I would say probably have everything ready, obviously, in terms of like furniture, clothing, whatever, have that ready. But also, um, I say, attend your, I know no one likes to attend what's it called, like your first week of uni, where it's like introductions and icebreakers and stuff. No one likes that. But I actually found that that's why I made some of my like best friends um, from uni. So go there because it's like, the most time like kind of time that you get to interact with people in lectures because you do icebreakers and stuff and that's where you'll be surprised that you like to get to meet people and having people on your course that you know is so helpful so i'd say also mentally prepare yourself and budget well ahead of time don't slash your student loan like try to budget before like you already probably know how much exactly you're going to get from student finance so if you already know that try to budget ahead of time instead of splashing your money on like nights out and going shopping and stuff because we all did that and we all regretted it so take it from us like don't just splash like the rest of it just because you've paid your rent um and i'd probably say like 
all the things that you probably didn't get to do at home maybe like um start doing now so if you ever wanted to go to the gym and you didn't get to do it at home do it now if you can do your driving lessons all the weekend do it do it then like don't just kind of wait for things to pop up think ahead about all the things you want to achieve and get them done while you're away from home away from like pressures and people telling you what to do and your parents telling you what to do um and also like just um prepare yourself to I mean prepare yourself in in a good way also like keep yourself safe don't be reckless like with everything like it's good to try new things but don't be reckless um and remember why you're there um I, I like the idea of having a vision board just to keep me like motivated and to keep my mind focused on what I want to achieve. Um, so yeah, I'd say like, get to know your surrounding. Like when you get there, like on your first week or two, walk around, get to know where all the shops are, where the gym is, where the train station is, wherever things are, just get to know your area and get to know where your lecture buildings are and stuff like that. If you can beforehand, walk around the campus and get to explore where the parks are where all the restaurants and stuff is and the library how to navigate your way around the library find out how to use facilities in the library a printer borrowing laptops things like that find out how to use that kind of stuff before uni starts if you can okay and finally what advice do you get to students who want to study a master's save up lots and lots and lots of money try and win the lottery because it's expensive especially in london because like I said, if your master's is one year and you get 11K loan from the government, you'll probably be fine financially. But if it's two years or three years like me, you'll definitely need to top it up with your own money or money from somewhere else. Um, so I would say if you know that you haven't got any other money except student finance, it might be best to like either find a part-time job that pays really well or stay home for a year and save up if you can. For your masters because it is very very expensive um and you know living ex like my course has a lot of extra expensive like personal therapy supervision um travel expenses and stuff like that insurance i have to pay for like bacp membership i have so much to pay for on top of just tuition and my rent which i have to do with a part-time job and you don't want to spend all your extra time just working so it's like you have uni and then you work and that's like your whole three years gone so i'd say for master students definitely prepare like financially and i think the workload is not too heavy but if you get your work done like if if you know you've got an assignment coming up in a month or two once you if you just put your head down and start it you'll be fine um and just because you're a master student doesn't mean you can't go to your lecturers and ask for help ask for help wherever you can get it um those are like the main I mean the master itself is pretty much just like a normal degree just a bit more work a bit more reading a bit more intentionality with um studying independently so just be prepared for that in terms of your timetable don't assume that you can spend hours doing nothing or chilling or enjoying I guess like a student life you're gonna have to like put your head down and focus a bit more than you did in your undergrad but definitely save up a lot of money if you need it 